All right, what's going on, everyone on YouTube? And yes, we're welcome to day number twenty-seven of my thirty-one days of horror. We are coming down to the final stretch. Four days to go. Right, Thursday is the last day, so I'm very happy about that. I'm worn out doing all these reviews and watching so many movies, but today we're gonna be talking about the classic slasher cheese fest. That is Slumber Party Massacre, yes. Slumber Party Massacre, you know, it's one of the most well-known B, kind, I guess you could call it B-rated um, slasher flick from the early 80s. Early 80s, I think. But, basic plot of Slumber Party Massacre, there is a mass murderer from the insane asylum that breaks out, of course, and he starts to terrorize this group of high school girls I suppose you know he really just first goes to the high school and knocks off this one chick and he really only uses one weapon through the entire movie and that's his you know his giant um drill gun that he's so famous for on the front cover if you guys know so he starts picking off people in your typical cheesy B movie slasher way with over the top blood gore and you know goofy kills and stuff like that so movie goes on and the four main characters who are female are having a sleepover and it's you know your typical overrated high school chick sleepover with you know you know all these funny things going on you know you got the two guys who come and spy on the chicks you know doing all the funny stuff and you got the another teenage girl and her little sister across the street who I, you know, the little sister in my opinion is my favorite character uh, you know, a lot of funny gag, chick gags in this movie that definitely don't really hold up for today's standards, but it's it's really really, really fucking funny so, you know, there's not too much more to the plot you know, they all start getting slashed off and it's your typical slasher um formula with a hero coming to save the day and your maniac you know just, you know killing people but overall it's a fun fun movie you know it's not the best slasher movie in all means but it's your typical cheesy slasher flick that um you know every horror fan should watch at least once because it's such a well-known low-budget slasher flick so uh, there are two sequels. I just picked up the second one. I haven't watched it yet, and I'll have to pick up the third one sooner or later, but I heard they're shittier than the first one. They're only about an hour and 15 minutes long a piece, so they're short watches, so maybe I'll do that tomorrow or something. I haven't decided, but uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this review. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to follow me on Twitter, you can do so at Twitter.com slash NESRuler22. I should talk to you guys tomorrow with another review. So I'll see you guys later, and I hope everybody had a good weekend. See you guys soon.